see something here. I can easily change it from here. Yeah. I think I'm done watching the the What's it called again? Forgot. Oh shoot. Yeah, this is what I was gonna watch next. I thought it was gonna be over, but it's still going. Yeah, I think I have enough watching the EA play. Yeah, the Nintendo Direct on June 11th. I'm gonna see that. I don't know if I'm gonna watch this, maybe. Probably not gonna be able to watch all of it. But, yeah. There's Pokemon Sword and Shield. I saw that Nintendo Direct for it this past uh, June 5th. That was on Wednesday. I saw Luigi's Mansion. I actually can't wait for that, to be honest. The Legend of Zelda, Link Awakening, yeah, the new Zelda game. Yeah, I like playing a lot of Nintendo, to be honest, but yeah, that's what I'm normally playing when I'm not playing any computer games, to be honest, but yeah. Oh, okay, I see. The Smash Bros. one is on at, at 4, okay. Splatoon's on at... Uh, 1.30 while the the Super Mario Maker 2 of Potential 2019 that's on at 1 alright I see ah, yeah I want to see the Super Mario Maker 2 this is what I was planning on watching it I'm surprised that the EA thing is still going on like yeah she was going to be able to watch the whole thing but yeah Sorry, oh, warning, contains flashing images. This is about to start. And this is going on. Is it? What is it? It's just gonna show something. No. That's right. That's just the thing. We're seeing this now. It's just starting up. For an exciting full day of Nintendo competitive action, some the, of the, world's greatest the title, stream title. As we get set for the Splatoon 2 World Championship 2019, the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate World Championship yeah. 2019, Smash Bros. One. But we get all That's the fun started like. with the Super Mario Maker 2 Invitational. Welcome in. I'm Jordan Ken, and joining oh, me fresh out of a couple good. of warp pipes, my two friends, Vish and Nine, and Fish, as we get set for Super Mario Maker 2, many people have had a chance to play Super Mario Maker. Yeah, what is this thing called? Coming out. But for some folks, this is their first taste of Super Mario Maker action. What do you expect to see and explain it a little bit further? Yeah, well, this well, thing was called. Never played Super Mario I'm trying to figure out what. It's whatever your heart desires, Jordan. Oh, you Nintendo 2019 World Championship Tournament. Dreams. Basically, you can take elements, cool. enemies, and components from different Mario games and create your own I level. See. And on top of that, you can play Nintendo. levels from creators all across yeah. the world. It's basically whatever you want, Jordan. The possibilities are limitless. Well, guys, you know I'm a dad now. I love rules. Let's take a look at the tournament rules Worlds. here for today for Super Mario Worlds. Maker 2. Uh, Round World. 1, four player speed runs. Pairs of players will compete to finish the course as quickly as ah. possible. That's a speed so run for you. Yeah. The player with the best overall time will choose a partner to team up with in round two. Because when we get so, to round two, co op hmm. teams. Teams of two work together to complete a co-op course as quickly as possible. The winning team will compete against each other in the finals. And when we get to the finals, oh, boy, do we turn things over on its head. Two players compete no. on three mini courses and one I'm just trying to see something here. Each win Sorry. of the three mini courses is worth a three-second head start on the final course. At the end, the first player to complete the finals course will be the Super Mario Maker 2 Invitational uh. Champion and nine we'll get a chance to meet our four competitors here shortly okay. four players that are very well versed in the this, mario universe however huh, when you get that's set funny. Place, how they say that the first time you've never seen Super this mario maker. how do you approach it what's the strategy as you get set for these courses easy way to describe it is instincts versus analysis you're not going to get through these levels in one try i don't think anyone's that good they might prove me wrong but it's really a matter of adapting to what's on the screen. Do you throw okay, yourself so right at it and learn by messing up? Okay. Or do you instead take a little bit, spend 30 okay. seconds here to save yourself a minute down the line? 
We'll talk about that theme of risk versus reward all throughout the competition and Vish handling the different physics of the different Mario genres. You're gonna be controlling a Mario from one universe as you handle obstacles and traps that maybe appeared in a different Mario universe. How do these players adapt to all the physics they're going to be handling? Yep, yeah, that's I think a really lot to mix. At the end of the day. Like if you're well yeah. first in all the Mario yeah. games right here in Mario Maker 2, you're gonna have an easier time dealing yeah. with. You're gonna have an easier time dealing yeah. with all the uh, objectives and uh, enemies on the fly, right? Like, like you're gonna why be full so you don't have that much time That's to adapt the thing. To yeah, sorry. So your experience is really gonna come in the clutch in this clutch moment. Okay. And these courses are going to be very exciting. They were designed by our good friends at Nintendo Treehouse. We know they have been done with care okay. and love as well too. A lot of emotion put into these courses. But let's go ahead and take a moment to meet our four competitors in the Super Mario Maker 2 Invitational 2019. So what's going through your mind while you're playing? Well... Hmm. Huh. Huh. <laughs> no! <laughs> what the heck? That's funny. Uh, yeah, the creating laughs refresh. So what's yeah. going through your mind while you're playing? Yeah, that works. It's complicated. It's, uh, it's complicated, yep. Yeah. Uh, I, I could imagine. Four terrific speedrunners that have had plenty of experience in the Mario universe. Yeah. You see the completionist of Dollar the Dragon PD in Yellow Killer B and yeah, all right, there we go. Earlier, we I'll have to Denver fix something, to take care of something like here. Oh, we're good. Yes, all right. Three of the four selected yeah. Fini as the favorite. The one who did not was... All right. Like Sorry, I wasn't in full screen. I wanted to fix something with the stream titles. Because I wasn't watching the new play thing anymore. And Bish, we were highlighting I was already some of planning on this. Super Mario Maker 2 as opposed to I thought Super Mario Maker play was going to be over before this. Possibly see as these players see the courses for their very first time. Well, the All big right. thing is there's a new game mode, like there's a whole new game type with Mario huh. 3D World. So you might you might see a Meowser, you might see Cat Mario. There's all sorts of <laughs> contraptions in the, the brain the new Mario Maker. Aside from that, you have things like slopes, you have That's things like parachutes that are just going to add a new little element of surprise, and these players are going to have to deal with that on the fly while getting their best time possible. Like I was changing well, something as Abdallah I was watching this at the same time. That got it's not like I wasn't paying attention, but yeah. You know. mm. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Best is what funny. they're wearing. It's okay. You can smile, completionist. You're here having fun right now. Huh. He can't hear me. Those work very well. I like what that. The heck? So they obviously won't get a chance to be a couple of sneaky funny. sneaks and see the level as it gets played. But as we get set for Yellow Killer B and the Dragon Fini to take place here, we mentioned those new features and that Oof. risk reward as far as how fast you want to go through this nine versus maybe I dip mm. my toe in the pool rather than take a cannonball because Nintendo I'm not sure switch. what's coming next. And it's all about creativity too and adapting on the fly. As a couple of you have said, you can take maybe one path and try it a certain way. Maybe that doesn't work. So the second time you might try it again, but that third time, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. <laughs> fool me three times. You gotta change the game plan a little bit. Uh -huh. And Vish, yeah. it's one thing when you're That's back funny. in the comfy confines of your living room you're ever sure. playing this game and getting a chance to hit the reset button if you struggle, but you're on a big stage here right now. We've got a fantastic audience in the crowd getting set to watch this. We've got a lot of people watching this and through the stream and everything as well, too. The nerves that might be going through these players real quickly here. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it is a big stage like you, uh, like you mentioned, and it's the first time that we're seeing Super Mario Maker 2 in a stage like this. And from talking to the players, they don't have too much experience on a stage like this. So it's going to be very interesting to see how they deal with the nerves and playing like a technical game like Mario Maker or, or Mario in general while you're speedrunning is going to be very, very crucial for them to not feel nervous in the middle of their runs. Well, the wait is over. Let's hit the start button. The Dragon Fini versus Yellow Killer B, our opening speed run in round one of the yeah. Super Mario so Maker sure. 2 Invitational 2019. Let's start the countdown to... One and go. Uh, As they go. get set, they'll be heading the start button at the same time. The dragon huh. Fini on the left-hand side of your screen. Yellow killer B on the right. Already nine. What genre of Ooh. Mario are we seeing here? We've got a little Super Ooh. Mario 3D world. 
world. How about that? And the slope's coming out immediately, and this is already a new feature. This block, when you ground what? pound it, immediately goes to its full extent and unveils a new pathway. The what Dragon the Vidian early lead decides to go with the right path, and so does Yellow Killer B. And we see here, Mish, a couple of different paths in these exclamation blocks, providing a little bit of a challenge early on. Yeah, this is the new feature, as uh, Nine pointed out. So you want to be able to use the ground pound to get all of them fully uh, expanded. And from there, you can make your way through uh -oh. this level. But I'm surprised that both of them went to uh, the right, right off the bat. And definitely uh, a little bit of a head. Yellow killer bee, but I wonder how this one over here. Oh, this, this guy. Not this guy. I love that. From my perspective. Oh, no. He's going to he's gonna lead. Nine, here we go. Uh, Yeah, I got pretty loud. Oh. Has to make a U turn and go back into traffic. Meanwhile, the Dragon Beanie on your left hand side still uh. trying to navigate those exclamation blocks. And Yellow Killer Bee. Oh. A little collision coming wow. right there. She bumps into the spikes. Looking for God, this guy is having trouble. Man, that's and difficult. Right, the, the guy on the left. Darn. Oh, uh, that Cat Mario. I like playing Super Mario games. That needs to use the crawl feature, the wall climb feature there with the Meowther, or the uh, Cat Mario, doing a great job already here. We got two options again, what? blue and green. Green, of course, actually goes a little bit slow. Wow, oh, And nine, yellow killer B, she's This guy is so far ahead. ...to handle these moving blocks, and those springs can throw players off quite a bit. When we talk to them after huh? this, they said the one obstacle they don't like... He's watching the both at the same time. ...that they don't like, and you see the yellow killer B right now, He's trying to use wall jumps and stay ahead of that platform. But you gotta be careful as you're making the jump. Mm. She's starting to figure it out here. The combination of the Who's good? Oh, did he? Oh, no. God, oh, that's difficult. No. Come on, got it. Oh. The dragon Fumu. Darn. Why is this guy so far ahead? My gosh. The on off switch is a new feature here in this uh Mario Maker 2, which actually turns the directions of the player uh, and you won. Won. That's it. All right. Buzz, buzz, yellow killer B, the first one to cross the finish line. Impressive right there. Dragon oh. Beanie will have 30 seconds left to finish up the level. We see already these oh. alternating pink and blue blocks. Oh, you have man. to have a lot of Really precise timing with this here, Nine. Yep, you yeah. saw right there. If you don't get the I, jump off I find right those to be hard. I'm not kidding. I remember this left and right side. Ah, this is playing with something that like right that. Was about identifying which block you I could use. imagine. Okay. Dragon Beanie avoiding some flops right there. Hopping on top of those happy clouds. Getting inside the two. Uh, Yellow Killer B. Yeah, all right. There you go. Chilling. She already crossed the goal. An impressive it. job by our first two speedrunners handling that. And as we said, Vish, it's all about learning with the obstacles and adapting. We saw that especially with Yellow Killer B as Cat Mario on that green moving platform. It seemed like she finally found mm. her rhythm after a couple of tries. Right, right. Yeah, it really is all about using well, the screens at the same Mario. time. You can, you can kind of hard to do that. A little bit higher and then from there jump to the next huh. area to do your wall jumps and whatnot. But I think it was very interesting that uh, Dragon Fiend was stuck in that one area between the two yeah. uh, different like, ways that she could have gone. It and looked I think tough. She had gone back to the I had a hard time trying to... So are just better at certain uh, aspects of the game. And nine, mm. those exclamation blocks are very tricky, especially when you're trying to wall jump, because some of those blocks you have to hit, others, they're not going to really help you out too much. And again, sometimes finding out which of the blocks you need to hit is almost a luck-based thing, and not all of those blocks mm. are created equal. And really, I think that the most important part is identifying which of the blocks are nice, so if you do fall, you can make it back up without losing too much time. And you look at the pacing as well, too, Vish. It seemed like they weren't really hitting the brakes too much. A nice little rhythm, but they also didn't get themselves in too much trouble by going too fast. Right, right. I think that that's going to be the risk mm. reward that we're talking about a little bit. Because if you go all the way just holding right the entire time, there's going to be little traps and whatnot that could set you back. You might save five seconds, but lose 30 seconds in the long run. So 
I think just being a little cautious. That yeah, turned down a little bit. The it was like loud. Killer v, our first so loud. Yellow killer v for me, like, because I got headphones on. Time for you here shortly to see what mm. Abdallah and the completionists have to get if they want to be in first place. Don't forget the winner of our opening round gets to choose their teammate for round two. And this is the truth. comes in here nine because you have to ask yourself, do I pick the strongest person to help me out in the second round, meaning I have a stronger opponent in the finals, or do I maybe pick somebody that struggled a little bit and maybe make my path in the finals that much easier? Well, I've heard that mm. some competitors might be uh, maybe not trying 100% here in the early rounds just to make sure that they can throw people off here. So I think the games have already started, but you laid it out perfectly there. Are you assuming that you can get through that second round with a lesser teammate, or do you want to get there and let the championship round decide itself? All right, let's get set for our next speed run here between Abdallah and the completionist here as they get set for the same level we just saw. They haven't seen it yet. They were blindfolded and had the huh. noise canceling yeah, headphones they on. See. They're excited. They're ready That's to funny. The crowd Those blindfolds are weird. Let's take another look at this first yeah. course in Super Mario Maker 2 as part of our invitational. Let's get the countdown rolling here in just one moment. Okay, here we go. That's the next speed run now. We go both players hitting start at the same time mm -hmm. because they exercise good sportsmanship. That's what we like <laughs> to see. And we saw That's earlier, funny. a big blooper that comes out of the top Woo! question block, but oh, we've got the completionist. Oh. He's trying to complete the level already, Vish. It's all about the speed. <laughs> no. Right, right. He wants to make sure That's he gets funny. all the little blocks as soon as he can, but he gets a little power up that we uh the other players kind of avoided because they're going for the speedrun aspect, right? They're just trying to power through it. And again, both players oh, gosh. Going to the right side. And that's what we see right here, Nine, taking that exclamation point. Maybe it's the big yellow blocks oh, that just draw your attention, uh -oh. but already the oh. completion is figuring out the trick of using that Ouch. ground pound. Abdallah, though, losing Dude. a life and having to go back to the beginning. Who is going to go? This year now. It is, and one more block. We oh, saw this take you almost right out. Can he complete oh. the jump? Can he salvage this? It looks like he is. Oh. Great spin all the way through. Oh. 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 Nice. By the wow. Checkpoint reach. The aerial acrobatics to find himself in the cart portion at this point. And as you said, very precise jumps needed during this part. If you want to avoid an accident, those springs already trying to deter the completionist. And you take a look on the side, on the left-hand side with the completionist, those springs knocking him mm. off. Abdallah, right now on the right-hand side of your screen, doing a great job bouncing off those platforms, Vish. Right, right, right. And I like that there's no hesitation from Abdallah's end there, because if you uh. hesitate a little bit on this course, you end up actually hitting those springs that we saw earlier there. And Abdallah not jumping also Ooh. towards the end of that uh, area is actually very, uh, very, very clutch, because a lot of players the. are tricked up by it, and they end up jumping. What's, that? What's this happening there? Abdallah moving on to the Cat Mario portion. Meanwhile, the completionist, well, he's just trying uh, to box the ball. Put it that way. Oh, Cat Mario 9, you have to understand, different physics can jump a little bit higher. It is, and already going that way. And once again, uh, going over to the green side. What's the cat? The uh, block on the left side does move a little bit quicker here, so it's a little bit easier. A minute to left? Speed, but sometimes that means you'll miss it, too. Thinks they're gonna no, it's just right a little, two a minutes of going by. Two minutes. Side, a little bit more natural because those blocks move faster. But oh. Vish Abdallah struggles Jeez. just a little bit with the block portion, giving the completion. The guy on the right, up, once again, like is ahead. The guy right on the left. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It feels like Abdallah is just trying to remember how to play cat Man. Mario because he's, he's doing the glide when he wants to do the, the wall climb and whatnot. Uh oh. And I think having those split oh, those every so often is really nice. I forgot what they're called. The, the the drop, I'm trying to drop on him. And that's a good point, Nine. We were talking to Abdallah prior to this competition. He said the physics for Cat Mario, very tricky. He pointed that out and early on already having to deal with it. <laughs> Meanwhile, the completionist in the Cat Mario stage has a chance to catch up here. He does. This is very close right here. Just one more jump. And the oh, completionist. About even with them once they get to that I, I think I've heard of that guy before. The completionist. Of that very slow green platform. Instead, maybe well, probably another guy. Like Never mind. There was a guy with that move. Well, instead, he wins the race uh, at, with the green block. They do end up going. Slow, this is a different guy. I'm not quite really sure. Think out what movements he wanted to do and uh, do the climb right before his jump. So he will make it to the next portion here. And again, you gotta follow those coins and you gotta follow those arrows. Abdallah at the end just has to climb those last moving treadmills as you see here. There's one. There's two. Oh no. And here's one of those on-off switches that can affect so I'm many trouble. different things. Down the left. Mm. Mm. He missed it. 
Here comes the completionist in the block portion. Is there enough time for him to catch up? Don't forget, they're racing our winner from the earlier round right now. We'll see how uh -oh. that time stacks up. Oh. Oh. Guy on the right wins and once again. My gosh. A different person, there. though. Yeah, I think he's trying to complete the level right now. He's, he's really, <laughs> he really wants to see what else is in there. No, I can't win them. Yeah, I can't help but try to collect all the coins. Smash all the blocks. You've got Super Mario 3D World and Cat Mario trying to handle that. You've got springs, moving blocks, so many things you have to count for here, Nine. Yes, and oh, I think man. that right here is we do see that time tick away. It really was not understanding the Yeah, I know this guy. I've seen this guy before. The completionist, yeah. It is who I thought it was. I thought was a different person, my bad. It's surprising how high exactly who I thought it was. I heard of the completionist. Like, who hasn't? Well, from the movie hasn't. Oh, that's just a little bit so you can time your jump and get Darn. a little bit more height is very crucial for that particular portion of the world. So it. Dalla wins the head-to-head -head matchup against the completionist. We do want to clean up one thing in that prior race with Yellow Killer B and the Dragon Feeny. Their graphics were on the incorrect well, side I of the screen. So the Dragon notice that in the first place. That first round. Like that's the completionist. I know that guy. I believe she had the fastest time, so she'll get a chance to choose her teammate in the second round, but already early on, Nine, we saw that on a given level, you can go left or right, and sometimes choosing the right. Surprise! I didn't notice. Is all the Ooh, the completion was all was that first. We saw trying to shift back over to the left side after a little bit of struggles on the right side there. That's where those split second decisions come in because we've seen how fast these players can get through a level that they've never seen before. It right. really isn't that much room to mess up. And you saw the Kart hmm. Mario portion in the car. Very difficult for the completionist at times because you have to maintain that momentum. Not much of a problem for Abdallah. Yeah, no, the Cooper car is it's, it's mm. kind of difficult in a, when you're not sure what's going to show up next, right? Because you have to keep your momentum, you have to keep your speed throughout that level. And then there's also one portion where you're not supposed to jump, where it's on the rest of it you're supposed to jump. So keeping all of that in mind is actually quite difficult as it's going so fast. Well, let's take a look at the times after our first round in the four speed runs and see who had the fastest time. And it looks like the Dragon Feeny in 311, Abdallah 33 seconds behind. And you see Yellow Killer being the completionist, unable to finish due to the speed of the Dragon oh, Feeny and Abdallah. Yeah. We've been told that the Dragon Feeny, for her teammate in round two, has chosen Yellow Killer B. So interesting mm. choice right there, but you saw okay. Yellow Killer B wasn't too far behind the Dragon Feeny. And now they get set for the co-op course, and this is where communication comes in. It's so important in that cooperative play as well, too, Nine. Well, player two is always important whenever you're going through a game huh. like this. And the person you are competing with is now on your team? Shot caller in these situations. Some I of these puzzles that. are going to really rely on somebody. The co-op now. Let's look at what we've got here. We're Still going to time this in one, going two, against each other, and now they're working together. We saw a little mess up can send you down far, and oh, I have no this. doubt that this level is going to be the same huh. way. And I'm really curious who the little brother is between the Abdallah and Completionist, who's going to get that second controller <laughs> that's that funny. doesn't get used too much. It's been rolled up for a while. Now they're working well, together you after racing against each other. Fact of this game that we saw earlier in the first course, the on-off switch, and how that might be implemented. Uh -oh. We see that more in these next couple of yeah. courses. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we'll on-off switches. Timing of things, you know, in, in a two-player mode, if you have on-off switches, one person Oops. might have to turn on the switch, okay. one person would have to adapt to what that changes in the course map. So I think that could be uh, very tricky and very uh, interesting to see in a, in a game like this. But as Nine said, I think a lot of it's going to be coming down to timing and how well you communicate with with your ally. So I think maybe mm -hmm. uh, part of the reason why Dragon Feet shows uh, Yellow Killer Bees, perhaps you know they've been hanging out a lot throughout this weekend, so uh, they have some... Yeah, there's one to play about. Call off who play as Luigi and Mario. Right <laughs> That's just Mario. <laughs> in this. As you get set for co -op cool. mode, and what we saw in this first course is, it's almost like you walk into a section of these courses, and you have to perceive everything around you and figure out, how do I solve this puzzle? And now it's going to be implementing most likely that second player. It's not just something you can do by yourself while your partner kicks back and drinks some lemonade. Well, you do have two people, so it should reason that you can now figure it out twice as fast or something like that. So the communication is going to be just as important as what's going on in the game itself. And also just the execution of the different moves that Mario can do. We saw that with Cat Mario. Some of these players struggling as well, too. You have to be very familiar with these power-ups. And it looks like our teams are set to go. 
round two, our co-op course here at Super Mario Maker now. 2 Invitational 2019. The, the Dragon Media Yellow Killer taking on Abdallah and the Completionist. Let's get ready now, for the countdown here, Now folks. they're working together. Three, I love that. Two, it's one, funny how that turned that out. Start button here. As we said, it's co-op uh, of Mario Luigi, a little Super Mario World action here. Yes. Nine. I know a lot of the competitors when we were talking uh, to them said they are very familiar with this. So if there's ever going to be a mode that they will know what to do, this is going to be the time. Early on, you see funny. a bit of an obstacle here trying to get to the top shelf. Uh, there's an on switch just staring you in the face. There you go. Beady, yellow Got it. That figure it out. But now they've got to advance Luigi on the bottom. They're starting to slowly figure it out. Hitting those on off it's the other way around the on, the, the, on the left side of the right and side. Like, like we're talking about, one person is doing the on off and the other person is just waiting. And in this particular moment, this is where the timing oh, matters, right? Because he has to turn the switch on and then the blue block will appear and he has to jump on it. He has to do that two or three times. And oh. they both make it to the second row at basically oh. the same time. Wow. Both teams sneaking through the door at the same time. Now you That's see a funny. swinging crane floating at the top. They're trying to jump off of each other's heads to grab it. Mm. Use those physics to advance. Oh, Dragon Feedy and Yellow Killer B moving forward. Mm. But there is a P block right there. It'll be interesting to see what happens P with block. that switch here, Nine. The best prize that you could ever get at the end of a crane game pair. Dragon Feedy and Yellow Killer B move. They oh, both get in at the same snap. time. I cannot see how close this is already. Huh. And now we see the switches again. It's going to be very important that they identify this because they are both moving at incredible speed. And you see Abdallah, the completion is slightly further ahead than the uh, Dragon Feeny and Yellow Killer B. Don't forget, uh, whatever team wins advances to the finals where they face off against each other. Trying, Abdallah, we'll the get those. Hitting that power block, getting the yeah. switch to go. Mario trying to jump yeah, I just want to get the coins. Get the lock. Right just a few seconds behind yeah. here, Fish. This is a really tight race. Ooh. They are just neck and neck right now. They're really figuring out all the things they need to do and like throwing the pow block up there to get the spring. What? And now they just have one more little obstacle. Come on, we can go. Look at the crouch. Oh, to the top there, that, that timing. Pass the gravy and pass the wow. pow block as that vine comes down. And Dude. And Dragon Feeny, Yellow Killer B, they advance. Oh my gosh. Oh. Here comes another on off section here, though, Nine, and this is going to require a lot of communication. There we go. This one is a little bit tricky. The last time that we saw go, this, go, go. A little bit more get obvious, in there. To here, there's going to be some bouncing that's involved. You can't get to it huh. with a normal jump. Abdallah and the Kool Aid is now jump. equal with the Dragon, Beanie, and Yellow Killer B and Bish. This is what we talked about seeing a puzzle in front of you and figuring out what do I do with all the tools at my disposal. Right, right. I, I think just even like exploring a level or just like. Surprise, it's only been two what hours. Could really help you out in a juncture like this. You see Abdallah, the completionist on that left hand side, trying to huh. jump onto the red block. They advance Mario right there. Ooh, well, what do you do here, Nine? This looks precarious. Well, they got to figure it out. Huh. One, two, oh, three. wow. But unfortunately, the right idea is not enough. You got to start all over again. And it comes to the Darn. execution we talked about. The there. timing there. Right idea, but at the end of the day, your thumbs have to be in sync with your brain. Yeah, I mean, in a speedrun like this, you usually get like one one try at most in terms of learning yeah. that kind of Look at go. Oh my god, this, you got this, come on. Really? Oh, darn. Mark, come No, no. That was funny. My gosh. See a trap. How quickly can you go back through the puzzle? Man, look at these guys. Oh, you did it! Oh, you did it! Look at these two over here, here, here on the right. It's just a matter of execution. And as yeah. we get to another tricky room right here, oh, it's up to the right. The stupid switch box. And keep in mind, these red and blue blocks are now automatically switching off, and that's a feature with the on and off switch here. Oh. Other items can turn it on and off. But Man. now that skull track is gone, let's go through the door and see what happens after that. Ugh, let's pick them up. One room ahead on this course. Switch blocks. Yellow killer B. They're going to give themselves another chance on the left here. Trying to time things out. It looks like they might have figured this out. Oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Taking the carpool through the tube. Is that going to be enough? Ooh, if you take a look, coming out the pipe. A one more These people trap. might win. Nine. No, the people on the left. Feature. They immediately go to grab each other one Wait, time. what? Stop playing on the screen. Trying to close out this court and advance to the final. Hey, that's a good win. Look at that. High fives and dap around. Yeah. They move on to the finals. Nicely done. Fantastic execution. Ooh. And you see all the things you can do.
doing co-op play, bitch. How about the teamwork by those two? After oh, fight man, legends, really after a race, they jump each other. The course even progressed, now frankly, they win together. Really on point with their timing. Huh. As soon as they got that uh, one red block to start where you have to do it twice to get ordered to continue the next one, I feel like they were totally in sync, and everything after that just kind of really smoothly came together for them. Mm -hmm. It seemed like the difference in this sucks. was how quickly Abdallah the couldn't make it out that one the got all all the red and blue blocks and then time the double jump at the end and they're able to rinse and repeat multiple times mm. meanwhile yellow killer B and the dragon Phoenix just couldn't get the rhythm down. Yeah. So it's remarkable not only how quickly they were able to adapt but how quickly they figured out the exact timing that they needed to do. That is not easy to do. These people know what they're doing and that skull track room that they mm. got through that took them two tries. They oh and executed it right on that second try. Mm. Well, we're at the finals, which means we do have to say goodbye to two of our competitors. Crowd, let's give a big round of applause for yeah. Dragon Fini and Yellow Killer. Mm. Excellent work, considering this is the <laughs> first time they saw this game, and I'm sure they're going to just have a great time with it when it releases yeah. later this month. But Comes we out. do have a finals to get to, and it'll be three objective-based courses and then one finals course as well, too. And mm. this is where things get fun, because now you've got different ways to finish courses here. You see round one, the Dragon Fini had the Music. fastest time. She chose Yellow Killer B. However, Abdallah and the completionist a bit of an upset in the second round. They'll pair off against each other in those finals. And as we said, with the courses and the ways that you can complete them now, it's going to involve probably more of a puzzle or something. Right, it's a new feature that we have here. The ability to have clear conditions and then touching the flagpole or whatever it may be that's at the end of the line. And there's different things that you can do. You can perhaps maybe collect a certain amount of coins, hit a key switch possibly. So understanding that it might be what you have to do. And these are probably going to be shorter courses as well too, Vish. So less margin for error. Right, right. I think taking your time with courses like this really will pay off. Because it's just... Oh, I forgot what kind of... Oh, I forgot the name of that music. Or what game it's from. along with you. You might have to collect all the coins that you mentioned. I forgot being very wary of what's coming up ahead while taking while going as fast as you can is going to be really the, the crucial portion of this well let's get set for our first course in the finals the first of three mini courses that are objective based so keep an eye oh, out for what that objective best. is it'll appear at the bottom of your screen here shortly we've got abdallah versus the completionist course one of the Again? finals let's get this countdown started here Chris. now they're against each other after working together they were really they, chummy again Huh? Yeah. That's yeah. funny, look at that. Yeah. Go. Yeah, let's do this! Yeah. Yeah. Let's so. we'll oh my god. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh no, this is... That one's a hard one. one. Was it Mario 2? That was hard. There's a mushroom, and up! Just like Air Plus oh, to be too big to get through there, Vish. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's our first peek at uh, the night mode feature that we have in uh, Super Mario Maker 2. And it looks like there's twisters here as well, and we also oh, have the sandstorm feature, which is going to push you uh, through that little area that's too difficult for you if you are a big Mario. Abdallah trying so, to figure out which jigsaw funny. piece can complete this puzzle right now. Can't make it through oh, the that music. Pipe, as long as you've got those twisters at the bottom. Hits the on-off switch, trying to mess around with the twister oh, on the right-hand side. Oh. Game completionist. Oh, knocks the twister off oh, right there. Geez. Seems like both players still trying to kind of figure out how this course works here, Nine. Right, and you called it a puzzle earlier. It absolutely is. And everything that you see right here is self-contained. Both of them have gone through the door. They've gone back through the pipe. And it looks like the completionist is starting to figure it out, escorting oh. that twister oh. all the way to to the end almost there gonna have to get it to drop just one more you'll notice that twister doesn't move to any empty block it'll return <laughs> back but the twister drops down for the Big looks like our crowd oh, did it. to kind of figure out the well, puzzle well, too. now we just I guess not. that execution piece we talked about fish right yeah i think both players are kind of figuring out the, uh, figured out the, the mechanics of this level and how to well, get see the what they're doing. To the right, uh, left side there and finally gets it hey, down, and there you go the p block all the way there, and he is going to be able to get it up. P switch ready. Oh, oh, but the wait a minute. Just carries it. Wait, wait you got it. Don't you hit a P switch yeah, when you, you see it, Fish? You should hit He's the carrying it like a watermelon at this point. Oh, he hits the P switch. There the completion is first one. There you go. Abdallah still trying to hit it. Completionist. Oh, hey there. Oh, he gets the mushroom at the end. And the Our plus wins the first course, giving What's him up? a three second head start. Just watching this in the taste of tournament the thing here. Can you rinse and repeat? Well, talk about Super Mario Maker 2. Oh, you're doing cool? Oh, oh. Yeah, those are fun. It's cool. You're doing good. And once it's up there, you can't 
Rabbit again, it's floating in the air. I don't know why I'm kind of tired. It's weird. I woke up this morning like I wasn't tired. And like, what the heck? Not only are you a fish, but the different traps and hazards you're going to see, understanding how those twisters work and how you can't go through the pipe and you can't go through if you're carrying anything. Yeah, that's a new feature here in Mario Maker 2. You ever play Super Mario Brothers? All the way up there and it's a piece which you got to Mario Maker. Oh, you yeah. have? It's shiny, it's blinky, yeah. and the face nice. is going to jump on it right there. But the completionist winning the first... No, I've, I've barely played the first Super Mario Maker first myself. I have to go back and play more of it myself. Yeah, it's a sequel. They're ready to go. They're exhaling. They're ready to roll. Competing. Let's get this countdown started. These two are like... Uh, they were like pull-off. And now they're against each other again when they were right, against each other in the first place. Oh, uh, you only here. played the first the one? Goal, yeah. The goal, Same here. All coins. You do have to reach the coin, Kinda, but yeah. Them, you see right there, this so one's not out not yet. yet there. Let's it's out later this month. And also, what genre are we working with here so they're familiar with the controls? Yeah, this uh, is uh, uh, Super Mario World 3. So we're going to be able to see... Super Mario World 3? Yeah. So we're going to have the... It's like, what? The we were saying there. On your right -hand side, using that wall jump hey. 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 Abdallah now just hmm. has to descend to the bottom. Uh oh, all about we fell. That bag and going here at this point. Abdallah. Yeah, working with the physics on this level, he, he traversed this so quickly because it, it was tight timing to do those uh -oh. wall jumps. And uh oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh, what's he doing? So oh, ah. Yeah. So much for game and wow. good yeah. right That was funny. It's like crouch, 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 crouch. Oh, <laughs> what the heck? That was funny. You saw that, right? Yeah. <laughs> That was funny. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. What happened? Yeah. He's jumping on the flag. Crouching and trying to... He tried to get to the top of the flag. He fell, the other guy. Completionist. Dang it, I didn't see what happened to Completionist. I was looking at the guy on the left. It's kind of hard to watch that both so both cool. sides at the same time. I have to use my peripheral vision Third if I go to watch both at the same time. Yeah, it's kind of hard, like, well, trying to watch Yoshi, them both. I don't know, I was just watching right them, the but yeah. He gets a jump on him, but it looks like there's oh, a it's Yoshi. A lot of sauce, and that's not something Yoshi likes. Yoshi bounces uh -oh. the cannonball on the left-hand side for Abdallah slightly. Oh, snap. It's the off switch. I wonder what comes out of there. Oh, oh, fire. fire Ooh. Get the losing a life right now. Oh, oh the completion is able to oh, look out for the souls. The souls, he's dripping water. Oh, that's kind of that's hot. Freaking inner two, bumper, whatever that wrong. is. Yeah, hey, yeah, there he goes. Completion is like really went through that stage quite fast. He was able to duck the yep. saws really well, carrying the momentum of oh. these slides. And then he also uh, went through the ice yeah. portion pretty quickly. I didn't see the fall earlier. Oh, snap. Maybe I'm going to go see. Here we go. Right Good fight on him. Oh. Completionist won. That was fast. That went by so fast. You see the collar. You see the suit jacket right there. He'll take a three-second head start into our final force. That was funny. He's like, oh, man, I did it. His reaction. By the completionist. It didn't even get to talk ah. about the mechanics of that level there. I was going to say, <laughs> well, you know, if you bounce off Yoshi, he can run ah. around and you can jump back on him. The completionist said, no, I'll keep my dino the entire time. Let's just run uh, through this. No problem. didn't lose it. Prehistoric preservation by the completionist right there as we move on to our final course. And All like right. we said, a three second head start for the completionist. And so it seems hmm. like these players are getting more comfortable. These courses are flying by much quicker as they get Pineapple. more invested oh. in this oh, you put the, the thing in there. Three minis plus one Pineapple the pizza. Taking two out of those three, which means yeah. you have a nice, comfortable three seconds. Yeah, the sparks. As we know, sometimes... Robo-T-Rex sparks.
Potentially. In those last couple of games, though, they were, like, pretty neck and neck, and some of them are speeding through it like we saw completionists. So three seconds might actually be make or break in this last... Let's uh, last sparks. Let's get set for our final Ooh. course of the Super Mario Maker 2 Invitational 2019 crowd. Let's get this thing rolling. The completionist Ooh. taking on Omdog. Oh, to determine who will be our champion this year. This is it. Last round. You're gonna go now? Alright. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Let's get set. Oh, this is actually almost over. Alright, bye bye. Get that three second head start, so that's great right there by a few want to finish right, watching this, course, but yeah. Thanks for stopping by. This was the one that we hadn't seen yet. We're taking Flash it back moves. all the way to the classic there, and neither one of them uh, it oh. a little stumble there at the start, but of so. lava. I wonder who we're gonna see at the end of this. The completion is able to stay alive and well, dance around the icicle. Dang. Trying to get some momentum, waits for that lava to fall. We get to the next oh, level here. Oh, it's freaking the flamp. Grabs the swing and crane, but oh, we got a big oh, snap. down right now, Nine. Look at how quickly Abdallah went across. Oh, that. dang. Oh, so much. Ooh. The completion is taking the more cautious route. Meets Ouch. the same fate. They're going to start again. I'm starting to think those three seconds may not matter too much. And, Bish, mm. this is where rinse repeat becomes very important because you're going to get back to the same part that you stumbled against. How quickly can you get back to that same area? Definitely, definitely. I think it's going to be like a huge learning process as they traverse this level, right? And that three seconds allowed him to get maybe one Damn. extra Look go. And he's or Abdallah's already. Oh, already oh what? The, the oh, Ouch. No, no, no. What the heck? Lots of different elements of a level we saw earlier. A oh, that's funny. Block. This time it's a spike. You've got to be aware of everything. And uh -oh. even though Abdallah had made it further than the completionists, they started in the same area. Oh, Abdallah yeah. Jumping just a little bit too high and catches his cap on the icy. Oh, this thing's hanging from the air. Sunday cruise. And he's in the tiny pursuit. Oh, no. Not again. Darn, this is hard. Looks hard. Oh. This lava castle is causing a lot of issues for both our runners here, Nine. And now both of them know the trick to this, right? They've both been fooled by the same things a couple of times. This is really rinse and repeat repetition. Maybe little refinement here. Oh, but at this snap, point, it's really just about making sure you execute what you it? already know. And Vish, what's very difficult is you want to execute, but you know right on the other side, there's something oh, competing right shoot. against you, and you've got to put the pedal to the metal. Yeah, I mean, you, you want to, like, take your time just a little bit, but at the same time, you got to go as fast as you can. And completion is when you get to the next portion. <laughs> <laughs> he does! He does! Hey, who got it? On that oh, that was oh, good. Hey! What the heck? Here comes another interesting part. Wow. As the icicles falling, staying on the moving platform. But oh. Thank goodness for checking. Look at this guy go. Go, 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 go. He's tiptoeing on this moving platform. Oh, oh he does. Well, too, and this is tricky here, Nine, because those icicles oh, are falling. Oh, oh, oh. Man. Those icicles. He's starting much further back. This really screw you up. Pushing his way to the right. Staying clear of them just a few more feet and gets to the next portion. Just like getting candy in the middle of the night, Look you have to tiptoe down the hallway. Abdallah moving his way. Those up the cranes. Swinging cranes. Oh. Tries to go underneath the icicle here, and this is where that risk reward and speed factor comes in your fish. Didn't make it. With the swing crane, you can use the momentum to oh, not again. the icicle, and then from huh. there, able to get to the next swinging crane. So using all the physics of these new features in Mario Maker 2, and using the, the physics there to be able to jump on the, up, the opposite way huh. from the swing crane. I like that. Oh my god, those so annoying so icicles. Optimist, they go up as well too, Nine. And here comes an interesting part with some vines and Abdallah being like part of the like they're such a pain. Vine to vine. This is interesting. I think Abdallah's been the more aggressive of the two players, but here saying, all right, let's just get across this. If I fall, hey, there we go. Way back up, as the we did it. Says, hey, wait a minute, I'm climbing this mountain too. And Abdallah huh. also saying one hazard he doesn't like, the solo spikes from the original Super Mario. Oh. They're right there, those watermelon-looking bouncers. Making this climb to the summit just a little bit tougher, but Abdallah navigating that section. Now he has a slope with some springs here, Mish. And and they all mentioned how much they dislike springs. There's a lot of springs in this portion. Oh. And you fall all the way down if you end up messing yeah. up this portion here of the swing plot. This Ouch. is very tricky. I think this is where risk reward really comes into play because you don't want to fall all the way down and have to uh -oh. the entire course. Completion is not too far behind using those swinging cranes. There he goes. He's, ca he's catching up. This guy, come on, get on that thing. Twister. Familiar with the mechanics.
pockets of these hazards here, Nine. And you Ugh. see right there, just not enough height to oh. get up there. He's gonna try it again. Abdallah knows what he needs to do here. He needs to manipulate where that twister is and lower him on the seesaw. And meanwhile, on the other side, the completion is never far. Oh. He's on the vine portion as well. Too. Damn. We know he's hot That's hard. Of Abdallah. Abdallah. And just the seesaw. The right now with the seesaw and the twister. Trying to figure out how do I get him to that bridge? Another puzzle solving component here, Fish. Yeah, and I think he's finally figured it out where he got oh. all the way to the tippy top of that seesaw, and now he will make his way to the next portion of the support pipe. But completionist, not too far behind him to figure out how to do these swing claws really quickly. Checkpoint reached by Abdallah. You see some more rising lines. So it looks like he's doing okay. Oh, there he is. Oh. There's Bowser, but it looks like Bowser has updated his home <laughs> security system. No. Nah. More obstacles to try and take down King Koopa. And this really is the puzzle. Huh. Can they figure out the quickest oh, way? Oh, man. Way? Look at that. Spikes on top here. So I'm doing stuff around with him. Abdallah is taking his time right now and jumps a little oh, too high. Earlier, he wanted to jump as high as he slight. could on the range. Not so much in this portion. Have to watch your head, but you see the on-off switch will block the Goombas from coming out of the pipes. You have to navigate the <laughs> fire breath coming in from Bowser. And this is where it gets tricky here because you saw What's those the volume wasn't too quiet. Three is the magic number here, Fish. Right, right. I wonder how many icicles it'll take to get this Bowser. Okay, the third one. Oh. And then he's oh. going to be three as well. That's why he fell on top of it. What the he's heck? The completion is so getting ready to go down the chimney and void no, as he has some gifts for Bowser. Know, what am I saying? <laughs> Bowser's been working out. It takes more than three now. What's yeah. going on? Bowser hitting the gym, eating some protein. Getting no. some greens in his system. Protein. The completion is he's on the swinging crane. He's going to take a stab at Bowser. Oh. It takes three right. No. Oh. Damn. Oh, man. Oh. The bicycles are a very interesting way to be able to hurt Bowser in this level. So that swinging claw, I think, is going to be very useful in uh. how they are able to do even more than just the three icicles. Uh -oh. Nine, rinse and repeat, as always. You know how to get on top of Bowser, but now you have to Good be very there. careful. Oh. Is uh. it going to be three? No, oh. no, that's not the type of back massage you want right there. Mm. You know, Bowser claiming the completion is Abdallah trying to navigate things. He's already gotten a couple of icicles on Bowser. That's only three, though. How many more does he need? Two more going mm. down. That's six. That's got to No! But it takes what? more than that, nine. What? Oh, man. The completion is doing the same. Abdallah has his method here. Uh, can he get over? Barely clears it, and that Koopa almost ended oh. the run. That's nine icicles. That's still not enough. Let's see if it'll do with three more. Abdallah. Well, unbelievable. Bowser well, hit the gym just like you, nine. My well, gosh. Twelve hits is not enough for hit Bowser. Where has he been this whole time? He's been training. The fire keeps coming. Bowser does not there want to go. Yay. Knocks out Bowser. Now he's he has to navigate the swinging Come on, crane. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, Watch out for the sod. And oh. Adala gets the axe. Knocks out Bowser. And that will do it as Abdallah is victorious. And he <laughs> is your super warrior. <laughs> Major oh. 2 Invitational 2019. Great. Champion. Oh my goodness. Ooh, what a crazy last level there. The way you take out Bowser was so good. Super Mario Maker. I think out of everything in that level there, Nine, the thing that surprised people the most, the 14 hits to knock out Bowser. We're all used to three, but 14 icicles to KO Bowser. And it, I think it's so important to recognize how tricky the method that Abdallah was using was because every time he jumped out, there was a chance that the RNG of Bowser's fire would be there. He almost hit a Goomba as well. And as we all know, every time Mario takes a trip back to the beginning of that level, it resets the health. And Abdallah standing at center stage right now, championing the crowd. Well, we have a champion in to present his heart. What show you only heard? The producer of Super three? Mario Maker really? 2, huh. Mr. Yeah. I love to watch this. I'm the only one showing the only current good thing of E3. How about huh, that trophy really? right there, Nine? Oh, everyone the else is still watching EA? I, know that this is exactly huh. I stopped watching EA after the Battlefield thing, because I wanted to see this. I thought the EA thing was going to be done before this. Apparently EA is still going on. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I won. The... <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. This guy won. Like, I wanted to keep watching the EA thing. I, I was expecting it to be over, but it's still going. I'm alright, even if I'm not seeing the soccer and the football. 
Have fun with that, even if I don't see those or the sin floor. Yeah, Super Mario Maker 2, I know. Sentence really hit. New dude. Like, I was uh, thinking about getting it since we saw. Oh, yeah. I, can, I definitely want to see the Smash Bros. one. Like, I'm still trying to do videos on that. Yeah, like I said, I'm still trying to record videos on Smash. Been too busy with editing other videos, I couldn't get around to playing Smash Bros. since I want to since day one. That's the trouble with editing videos. You know, the staff of this game, these these difficult courses are really, really tricky for us to play. Yeah. It's like, I want to see this after EA, but I guess the price is still going on. We got one. We beat the completionists. Completionists against this guy. Oh yeah, yeah, Splatoon 2, don't forget that. The game you love. Louie. <laughs> you keep saying Louie. Thank you, applaud yourselves. Like, stay fresh. Hey. Up here too. あの、このレベルはあの、えっと、So these uh, courses that you saw today were created by members of Nintendo's Treehouse. この、I might watch some of the Treehouse. And they also brought up all the, the details for the tournament today. これ皆さん遊んでみたいと思いませんか? So would you like to give these courses a try yourself? No. あの、もうすぐこれ発売されますけども、その後、え、皆さんにも遊んでもらえるようにと今考えてます。So this game is going to be coming out pretty soon and we're thinking of a way to make sure all of you will be able to play these courses as well. Is this loud enough? You can hear okay, right? It's not too quiet. あの、まだまだ、え、このステージは続きます。I hope it wasn't too quiet. Wasn't too quiet. So, we've still got plenty of entertainment for you. You're going to be seen on this stage. Thank you. So, keep I'm up the energy, it. and we, we look, hope you're looking forward to it all. All right, thank you so much. Yeah. I don't know why I said you. I meant the stream. The producer of Super Mario Maker 2, Mr. Hey. Tezuka. And how about a round of applause for all of our participants, the Dragon Feeny, Yellow Killer B, the completionist, and huh. your champion, Abdallah. That'll do it for the Super Mario Maker 2 Invitational 2019. Don't forget Super Mario Maker 2 drops June 28th, so make sure you grab that June 28th. and play some of these fantastic levels. But don't go anywhere. We've got more great Nintendo competitive action just around the corner huh. as we Ooh, get the set for the Splatoon 2 World Championship 2019 next here at the theater in Ace Hotel. <laughs> Music. <laughs> yeah, they were uh, fighting against each other. Now they're working together as co-op, and then they go against each other again. That's what happened. Huh. Yeah, it's like a recap. See one. I think the completionist. Yeah, there you go, trophy.